trying to go natural. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm happy today to be reviewing Blue Rose Beauty or just showing you again because I think I do have a demo on my channel from a long time ago. But it has been a while since I've used this, so here I am to use it. So this brand is special to me because it's like the first online brand I ever bought. So this is back in the day when there weren't as many brands and we were like on Etsy of all things, like just buying handmade products from random people and stuff. This was back in the early earlys. And like I saw her on Facebook, like in different um, hair groups, like pushing a little product, doing her thing, working hard. And I was like, hmm, you know, should I try it? I think one of my other friends had tried it, so I tried it, but it was like I was nervous. I'm like, is this a scam? Am I even gonna get products? Like, you know, am I just gonna get like a box of like packing sponge or something? I was like so skeptical and nervous. But my products came, I tried them, I loved them, and it was like pretty much a wrap from there. So before she sent it, <laughs> before all of them, there was this. So I'm really kind of happy to be bringing this to you guys. And let's see how I feel about them now. So definitely like lighter products for those of you fine hair or like wiry texture like myself that is ultra low porosity. Like I recommend it for you guys. So it does have a nice creamy texture. I'm going to have to throw what's on yet to the end of this but we'll make it work. I can't show you much about the texture since I'm going to be putting water in it, but I love that this gives you a nice foam too. Oh yeah. And it does the thing as a shampoo for sure. One thing I remember loving about the shampoo is it actually has some slips, so a shampoo you could kind of detangle with. I mean, of course, I wouldn't recommend detangling with a shampoo in general, but just in case that interests you, it's actually a shampoo you can detangle with. So let's rinse. So this is my hair after rinsing, my scalp feels clean, my hair feels moisturized, it actually feels almost like if I just conditioned it, I'll be honest. So I love having like a clean scalp and moisturized hair at the same time and this shampoo definitely gives you that. So, you know, so definitely the shampoo is as good as I remember. A little curl pop original. <laughs> hair feeling soft, hair feeling moisturized most importantly, not stripped at all. And my scalp feels clean because you know my scalp will tell me if it's not. So yeah, loving the shampoo. So everything else I have lots of is just the shampoo was pretty much done because I didn't get to buy any this Black Friday. So now we're on to the chai hair tea which I said is a deep conditioner but also a tea treatment and it's just awesome and really, really works to reduce my shedding in just a week or so. So getting into it. So it's a light creamy texture. I don't know, it smells like, it just smells sweet and nice. Maybe it's the licorice, because it smells slightly like molasses. I guess that's what licorice smells like. Just like a light creamy texture. So it doesn't feel like thick, like a BTMS type feel. It feels almost like if it's just butters and oils in here. Like it feels like a leave-in. It doesn't feel like the typical deep conditioner, but it definitely does the job in terms of moisture. From what I recall, <laughs> I'm really happy to be using these again. So far, so good. I guess if you're not into fruity scents, this might be a good, at least the shampoo, the co-wash, and the chai hair tea, none of them have fruity scents. So if you want to break from fruity scents, these could be good. The shampoo and co-wash to me smells a bit like baby powder, I guess. And then this smells like molasses, like I said. So I guess they're all still sweet but not fruity and it's good. I like to take a break from fruity because I get a lot of fruity as you guys know. Sweet fruity scent is like a cliche over in this channel. So this is my hair after applying the deep conditioner. My hair already feels super soft and moisturized so it's one of those that I call instant penetrator in terms of the moisture getting into my hair before I even let it sit. 
So my hair feels great. <laughs> my hair feels divine already, but I'm gonna go let it sit and then come back. So this is the before with the chai hair tail. I did use pretty much most of it, but like I said, it's a very light consistency. So, you know, I kind of expected that. If I shampoo, I'll use most of it. If I co-wash or something, I might use three quarter or something like that. But it's a light texture, but it packs a punch in terms of moisture. So, yeah, I'm satisfied. Love the scent and love the experience. Great slip, great moisture. Plus it really helps with your shedding. <laughs> so I'm gonna go let it sit and then come back to the wash and go. Da da. <laughs> That's gonna be interesting, but I guess we'll talk about that when I come back. This one, I kinda expect the gel to have a light hole, but at least it's not runny, so we're making progress. But we'll see what we get after the short break. <laughs> I'm back after letting it sit. Definitely my hair feels soft and moisturized. I love that post deep conditioner feeling. Like there's nothing like it in the world. And we are there. So I definitely love this treatment. It's great on its own just as a moisturizer, deep conditioner, and it has that added benefit of really, truly reducing your shedding. So definitely recommend this. This is one of my favorites, as is the shampoo and co-wash. So, yeah. Now on to the wash and go. So this is the part where it gets a bit iffy because I haven't used the almond gel before. But we'll see what we get. We'll see. <laughs> I'm going to be using the strawberry hibiscus leave-in conditioner as my leave-in. I do love this leave-in or I did. As I said, I haven't used this in a while. I haven't used blue rose in a while. But I did love this leave-in so we'll see if I still do or what it feels like now. Definitely recommend this leave-in as well as the Coco Rose leave-in. Those are like my two favorite leave-ins. I, I mean, I love all the leave-ins to be honest because the pumpkin one is nice too, but the pumpkin one smells a little pumpkin-y for me. Anyways, um, I also love this marshmallow cream gel and of course the Okro cream gel as well. I love pretty much all her <laughs> products, so they're light, but they give good moisture and definition. So like, this I would use more just as a styling cream, definitely not a gel, it's more of a cream. And even like all of her styling creams, like the Okra Curl Cream and so on, they're light enough to be used as leave-ins. This one is actually kind of heavier than, I would say in terms of texture, than the like Okra Curl Cream and like some of the kind of creams that she has. So yeah, those creams I would use them as leave-ins or as a cream for like twisting and stuff. And this I would use as for twisting as well if I wanted a bit more hold. So, yeah. And then, like I said, I'm going to be using this almond milk gel that I've never used. And we'll see what we get. But at least it didn't run So, progress, progress, progress. This is my hair after rinsing and deconditioner. I love that my hair feels soft and moisturized even after rinsing. So, I love that. Uh, but not coated and all that. And now I'm going to apply the strawberry leaf. This is the texture of the strawberry hibiscus leave-in. It's definitely like a light, very light cream, but it does also go on moisturizing. And it does give you a nice strawberry smell, so I love the scent of strawberry and that's the main scent I'm getting here. One thing I would say with this leave-in is that you use a lot, but it is very moisturizing and conditioning as well. So of course like the strawberry, the hibiscus, all of that are conditioners. I really enjoy using these and I don't mind using a lot. I'll just buy it, kind of buy it to suit. I don't mind if I have to use a lot of the product or a little of the product, as long as the product itself is good. So this is my hair after applying the strawberry hibiscus leave-in. I love the definition, the moisture, the slip, everything. I love the scent too, like I love like a pure fruity scent, like strawberry puree type scent. So. I guess everything, just leave in, just leave in everything. Um, I'm gonna now add the marshmallow cream gel just to give it even more moisture, kind of a little LCG, a little cream to kind of seal it in. And it even gives like a soft hole as well. Definitely enjoy my wash day, thank you Blue Rose Beauty. And these products, she doesn't have her, it on her website anymore, but you can go to Hitachi, I'll link down below, which is also a black owned business by the way, Hitachi. So next is the marshmallow cream gel. It's definitely a cream, but it does have a slight hold as well. 
if you're looking for kind of basically a cream gel, I guess, this would be a good one to try for more moisture, more definition and a soft hold as well. Okay, so this is my hair after applying the marshmallow cream gel. My hair feels even softer, even more moisturized and even more defined. So yeah, I'm kind of liking this like gradual step process in terms of this wash and go. So definitely enjoying this marshmallow cream gel again. It's not like as buttery as a twisting cream and it doesn't have as much hold as a gel, but it just feels like if you took a leave-in, crossed it with a styling cream and added a bit of gel, like a bit of hold, that would be it basically. Leave-in cream gel. <laughs> Because I think you can even use this as a leave-in as well, but anywho, going good, liking it so far. Now I'm going to add the almond milk gel. It is a light hole, but I do feel like it's holding me as well, so I'm grateful for that. And I'm grateful that it's not like me. <laughs> um, it is very light, but compared to what I've been using lately, this feels like solid. <laughs> but yeah, I am liking the moisture, liking the slip and liking the definition. So even though I'm thinking it's going to give me a soft to medium hold, I'm still overall happy with it. Okay, so this is my hair after applying the almond milk gel. So definitely enjoying it. I do like the definition and I do feel like it's moisturizing, great slip. I'm gonna say probably a light to medium hold. We'll see when it dries. So I'm expecting kind of big hair, but some definition as well. So yeah, I think it's gonna be cute. <laughs> all right, let me shake it all out and then I'll sign off for now. So this is it after my shake. You can see that it's defined, it's a bit big, but I can feel the hole as well. So I'm expecting like a light to medium hole as I said. My hair feels moisturized. The slip and everything was great. No stress washed in. Everything did what it was supposed to. So, yeah. So I'll be back to show you guys my result when it dries. But I'm happy. <laughs> see you in a bit. And I'm back. As you can see, I love it. My hair just feels light, defined, um, voluminous, you know. So, just loving it. So I'm suspecting this is probably how my hair should have looked with the last two bad bad shows that I got. Just kind of light but still defined and, you know, just fluffy, soft, no crunch. Perfect, basically. So, I'm relieved. <laughs> Because, you know, I, I had all these disclaimers at first. They just had me doubting myself, like, maybe it's not going to come out. But no, Blue Rose really did it. And yes, my hair looks good. I'm super happy. This is trying to get a cut, like a random cut. Because, like I said, like these pieces that are hanging out just e get on my nerves. But um, other than my hair shape issue, like, other than this, <laughs> um, I love it. This was like the first natural hair brand, like online brand that I bought. The ingredients kind of turned me out in the sense that after buying these, I never wanted to buy just a regular old water shea butter type product again. Like they kind of got me into like the more exotic, exciting ingredients. But it just has more of the good stuff, so I feel like it's a good value for money as well. But her not selling online, the sales may not be as good. I know like Black Friday, she would do like 30, 35%, but I think her Tachi maybe does 25%. But I'm still going to support and at least get me like a... I don't think there's shampoo and co-washes on, on Hatachi, but at least get me like some leave-ins and the tea treatments and some of the other stuff that she has. First, we have the Coco Rose Creamy Shampoo, which I said is not on Hatachi, but I'm hoping she comes back to her website, so I'm still going to show you guys this. I did pretty much finish it. I did kind of throw water in it and stuff, so yeah, it's pretty much done. <laughs> Like this is kind of like the best like shampoo ingredient mixer, the coolest I've seen. So I really love this shampoo and anytime she has it, I'm buying basically. 
And like I said, it has like a mild kind of baby powderish scent, so it's not like the candyish sweet type of range. Special mention to the Soap Berry Co Wash, which I also love. I didn't have to use it, but I am still gonna show it to you guys just because again, this is one of my favorite, like that's one of my favorite shampoos. This is one of my favorite co-washes. I guess the ingredients are similar to the shampoo. Let's see if I can show you. I guess the ingredients are similar to the shampoo, but it does also have amla, which is kind of cool. It has like soap not really high up as the surfactant, so it's more of a natural surfactant. So I haven't really talked about ingredients in a while, but I mean, these ingredients need a little special talking about. Again, really cool ingredients and works really well. So now we'll talk about the chai hair tea. So I actually just pretty much finished off that one because it was almost finished so I was like I might as well finish it. So I got another one so I can show you. It has a leave-in-ish type consistency as in light. It has black tea as the first ingredient which is really effective for me for shedding or just black tea or green tea but I like, I usually use black tea for tea treatments for shedding. But again, I just really love the ingredients and I find it super moisturizing, great slip, very effective and like I said again, shedding. So this is one of my staples, it's like my HG treatment, tea treatment, but it's like my only tea treatment. I think a lot of other companies have like tea rinses, but it's good to have like an actual tea deep conditioner. So you don't need it to do an extra step basically and it has you. So I appreciate this. If she has the shampoo, the co-wash or the chai hair tea, I'm buying pretty much. Pretty much I recommend everything here. I would repurchase everything that I use, okay? Spoiler alert. My hair was clean after the shampoo, moisturized and soft after the chai hair tea. I would add even after rinsing, the section still felt good. Soft and moisturized like you want it to. Yes, yes, yes. Strawberry hibiscus leave-in conditioner. So I love this leave-in. Like I said, it feels more I guess less kind of typical manufacturer type of thing. You do feel more like it's a water butter kind of emulsification if you DIY. Like I've done DIY leave-ins before, it does feel kind of like that. But it's not coating, it's moisturizing, the slip is great and everything. So I would definitely recommend this and I have been repurchasing this for years. The only thing I would say as a downside is you do use a lot. So for my hair, I would go through like half a bottle of pretty much either of her leave-ins. I also use the cocoa cream leave-in. I would go through like half a bottle in one go. So you do use a lot, but I don't mind using a lot as long as the product is good and I get my results. So yeah, let me show you the ingredients. I love Slippery Elm, like that's my dream team for slip. Moisturizing, great slip, great definition. I really enjoy this leave -in. so yeah. <laughs> So I recommend this as well and it's just like, again, fun ingredients. After that, my hair was moisturized, it was defined, I had my little leave-in in and I wanted to give it an even bigger boost of moisture, even bigger boost of definition. So I added this marshmallow cream gel and as I mentioned, like I do think this is like a great kind of in-between, between a leave-in, a twist and cream and a gel. So I like it for me as a C in wash and goes. I want to try it as like a braid out, twist out thing. Like maybe like a leave-in and then this over it for like a braid out or twist out. So I do want to try it like that. I just have so many blue rose creams and stuff I also want to show you guys. So I might save this for wash and goes and use like the okra curl cream or something else for my braid out video which has to come soon. But yeah, I really enjoyed this. Like I feel like it added that bit of like C, like LCO type C in terms of Moisture, sealing in the moisture, adding some slip, felt buttery and creamy, like you know how nice, just how you want a seat to feel basically over leave-in, it did that. Plus it also plumped my curls, gave me some definition and so on. So I really enjoyed this as well. I like my result basically, so yeah, I would recommend, yeah, I so so. I would recommend doing it like I did it basically, you know, using this after the leave-in and of course it's optional but if you just want to do it and if you want a little boost of moisture it's fine as well these are the ingredients so again it has a lot of that kind of leave-in-ish type stuff but then i also see like the xanthan gum for a little bit of definition so definitely the emollients there the water is there the honey quartz and aloe vera juice there as humectants and then that bit of xanthan gum to give it a bit of hold it's not as buttery as a typical twisting cream, but it is more buttery than a leave-in, I would say. So if you like cream gels, if you like conditioning C's, 
that's pretty much how I'd recommend it. And I guess if you also want to use it for like a braid out and so on. Again, like I said, it's like a soft hole, so I wouldn't expect it to add like hole for those of you like hole in your stuff. But when I do my braid outs, I don't usually put gel. So for me, this would be actually like a hole boost. So for me, I would use it like that. So yeah, just kind of getting where you fit in, but I definitely enjoyed using this as well. So like I mentioned, all of those are favorites, tried and true, I've bought them over and over. The one where I was hitting the disclaimers and all nervous because of my recent travails is the almond milk gel, because I have never used this before. But I was definitely pleasantly surprised. It has a nice, light, but definitely gel consistency. Great slip, great moisture, great definition. So I was feeling happy. So I would say that it's giving me that kind of lighter definition in terms of not a lot of strands in the clump, if you know what I mean. Like if I use like Eco Styler or something Uncle Funky, it puts more of my hair in a single curl basically. This is giving me that lighter, finer curl, which I'm fine with, I actually like, it's kind of different and cute. So yeah, if you're looking for a light voluminous definition, definitely has nice hold. So I see I can get through the week no problem, but no crunch. If you're looking for that kind of goodness in your life, definitely try this. So I would buy this happily and I would use this happily because it did me right. It has me, it held me down and I loved it. Okay, so let me show you the ingredients. I didn't need to do any kind of re-wetting. It just gave me that more natural feel that I really enjoyed. Overall, it's a pretty simple formulation, but it works really well and it's really moisturizing and does everything. My hair feels moisturized. So I would repurchase this and I was happy with this as well. And yay for a successful wash day, yay for a successful wash and go. So I don't see her selling anymore on her website, bluerosebeauty.com, but I do see her products on Hitachi and recently restocked on Hitachi. So I guess she is still working with Hitachi if you want to pick up some of these. So definitely go for it. I definitely recommend it as I mentioned. I love my result. Moisturizing, wash day, great slip, no tangles and snaps and breakage to worry about. And each product did the thing and held me down. So you may use a lot. If you like heavier products, you may want to maybe do a LCO or like an LC or something like I did for more moisture depending on you. But definitely I think you can enjoy these products. So that's it. Let me know if you've used Blue Rose Beauty or if you're thinking about using them. And just which other small businesses that we may not have heard of or something that you use and want to share. Let me know in the comments below as well. And I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> okay guys, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Thanks for watching.